Hello, welcome to the video tutorial, how to protect your computer with a chronic true image. We will divide all our actions into four stages, we download the program disk image to the computer. We write this disk image to a USB flash drive, and thereby create a bootable a chronic true image flash drive. Using this flash drive, we create an image of drive C, on which Windows 10 is installed, and save it to another partition of the drive, or another HDD connected to the computer. How to recover drive C using an Acronic True Image bootable USB drive, will be shown at the final stage of this video. The video turned out to be quite long, but convenient time codes are indicated in the description, clicking on which you can immediately go to the desired part of the video tutorial. And so, we begin. You can download the disk image for the Acronic True Image flash drive from the official site, open your browser and write, download Acronic True Image. Link in the video description. The program is paid, but you can pay a lot more money if problems with your computer are fixed in the computer service. After registering in your profile, you can download two versions of a chronic true image to your computer. This is a disk image for a USB flash drive, and the program itself with a much wider variety of functions. And so, I already downloaded the disk image, and now I need to download the Rufus program to write the disk image to a flash card. A link to the download site is in the video description. I start Rufus. At the top we see my flash drive. I do not need to change the settings. We find the disk image and mark it. Now click open start and on the next tab you need to mark right in DD image mode. OK. The program warns of the complete deletion of all data from the flash card. Click OK and the creation of the bootable flash drive has begun. A chronic true image bootable flash drive creation is complete and now you need to restart your computer. To boot a computer from a flash drive, you need to call the boot menu, and to do this, press F12 on the keyboard several times until the boot menu appears. You may have a F2, F8, F9 key or another key. Here's the boot menu and after selecting the USB flash drive, click, enter. Here you can select your preferred language and click a chronic true image. Before us is the main page of the program, and we choose, Backup, then, Disk, and Partition Backup. Next we see all the drives connected to the computer. We need to create an image of Drive C on which the operating system is installed, and we check the box on Drive C. Next. Here you need to choose the place where the disk image is saved. And I click, Browse. I open the folder for the disk image, and give it a name. For example, 1, 2, 3, 4. OK. Here we see that all actions are done correctly. Next. Last check of all operations. I click. Proceed. And the process of creating a C disk image has begun. After the process is complete, you can choose to restart the computer. I choose, switch off. The process is completed, and after turning off the computer, we will learn how to restore the C drive if there are any global problems with it. And so, we created an image of drive C, and with this action we saved all the data on another HDD. Now you cannot be afraid of viruses or the collapse of the operating system, and even if the HDD or SSD itself, on which your Windows, Linux or Mac is installed, finally crashes, you can always restore your disk image C to a new HDD or SSD, having spent all this 5-7 minutes. I pull out the USB flash drive and turn on the computer. Now I will show, how the recovery of damaged C drive works, and for this I will change something on my computer. I will install other desktop wallpapers. Delete all folders, shortcuts, and delete data from recycle bin. I connect the USB flash drive and restart the computer. Call the boot menu and boot the computer from the USB flash drive. Now we choose recover. You need to find the image of Drive C.
market. OK, click disk recovery. Next. Next. Check the box and all the contents of drive C are automatically marked. Next. Check the box, recover disk signature, and click next. The program warns us of the complete removal of all data from the disk, where I will now restore the saved image. OK. Before starting the recovery process, you need to look at how all previous steps were done correctly. And click proceed. The program suggests rebooting the computer after recovery. I choose turn off and disk C recovery process has begun. Disk C is restored. The computer shuts down. I remove the USB flash drive from the computer and turn it on. Now let's see how all the folders and shortcuts from the desktop were restored and what happened to the monkey, which turned upside down on my computer. And now we see that all the folders and shortcuts are back in place, like the desktop wallpaper. And of course, all deleted files from recycle bin are also restored. This video tutorial ends, do not wait for the problem to happen, and protect your computer in advance in a very good and reliable way using a chronic true image. Thank you very much for your attention to my video. Good luck to all.